What's going on guys? This is Kevin Q. I'm Kevin. Uh, today, I thought we'd try a bit of a product review and let you know how it got, got on so far. We'll be using this uh, Telesyn Dome port for the GoPro Hero 8. Alright, so here it is. What's in the box? Uh, first of all, we get the user's manual. Um, it's very, very light on the instructions. It has one page of English, and the back side of it's got some more products that tell us and sells. I didn't realize that they actually sold as much as they do, uh, so it was a useful uh, bit of information. Uh, for the most part, just felt my way in the dark. The user manual does show you what it looks like after you put everything together, so um, not entirely useless, but for the most part, especially with a small writing, for an old guy like me, not the greatest uh, thing. Uh, what else do we have in there? We got these white moisture strips that came with it. Um, no, which is initially a bit of a concern, but after looking at the seal uh, on the back of where the uh, GoPro sits, uh, not, not so bad. Uh, I did, my last dive, stick one of these in just in case. Just really weird how they would supply this with it. Um, uh, I don't know if that says a lot for their confidence in the product, Telesyn's confidence in the product, but anyway, even though my GoPro is uh, is water water safe, uh, I've got the GoPro Hero 8 and that's what I'm shooting with here, I uh, just um, wanted to play it a little bit safer and stuck it in, stuck it in there as well on my last dive. Um, over and above that we got all the uh, wiping cloth for the dome, make it nice and shiny, and uh, Cover for the dome, uh, it's really important that you look after your dome whenever you're not using it. Um, they do scratch pretty easy, you know, and the, the small imperfections if you're taking photography especially or, uh, or video when you're in the water, those small imperfections, if you don't look after it long term, it will turn out, uh, it will eventually, you will see it in your, uh, in your video, in your footage. And you pick photos and I also got this really cool little uh, screw wrench uh, I've never seen a steel one before normally they're plastic uh, the ones that I've got anyway uh, so it was uh, it was pretty cool to see I think this will, build, this will have a bit more longevity than the plastic ones that you normally get out there on the market and of course um, uh, packed in separate pieces was the dome itself so the handle, the trigger part and the dome uh, came uh, separately now the instruction manual does show pictures of how to take this back piece off uh, in case you needed to get in inside the dome itself and uh, give it a good wipe down or clean out. All right. Okay. So starting from the start, loading the camera. Um, as you can see, all this contraption here, or con mechanism, not contraption. <laughs> um, all this, all this mechanism here is in the way of getting you uh, your GoPro in and out of the uh, the uh, the door. Okay. So uh, it's a case of undoing this screw which I'll do for you now. It's a long screw. And I would have hoped that you could have just got it loose, lifted this mechanism and peeled it back. But the way this trigger, this trigger uh, gear is uh, set up, it stops you from folding it back. So you've got, got to actually remove it all the way. When you got fat fingers, it takes a while. And you drop the whole lot off. Then you pull this tab and it opens up just the same as any other GoPro accessory, the waterproof uh, case, um, you know, any of those other ones. All right. And then you put it back together just like, uh, just like it came apart. Once again, it's a little bit tricky and a little bit stiff, but uh, with a bit of perseverance you can. Screw goes in there. It's really important that uh, 
once the screw is in before you tighten it up you just double triple check that uh, this top piece of the trigger mechanism is working on your shutter, shutter button uh, it does slip off if you, so that's off there now it doesn't take a lot to miss it and of course uh, until you until you tighten up on this uh, on this bottom screw here uh, when you do put it in uh, there's always that chance it could slip off you don't want to be messing with that when you get in the pool um, in this configuration which is the only configuration uh, when you look at it on the box of the Telus and uh, and the Telson box and the user manual. In this configuration, I had a bit of a play with it in the pool before I went, actually took it in open water to go diving. I found it to be very difficult um, from a stability and just handling point of view. You know, um, there's a lot of buoyancy there. The the handle has is full of air. It's buoyant, and of course the dome itself is full of air. Uh, it's very buoyant. Um, I just found it very difficult to control and hold steady and stable with all that buoyancy trying to pull it up all the time. Um, the other thing that I didn't like about it in this configuration, uh, the factory configuration I guess we'll call it, uh, is the fact that I can't see what's going on in my viewfinder. Uh, and you know when you're at 9 meters it's a little bit, you know visibility isn't the best or whatever the case may be, 9, 10, 11 meters, especially the areas that we dive. It's important that I can see exactly what I'm pointing at and what I'm shooting. Um, so uh, I really struggled with, uh, with the idea of having to deal with that and roll, hope that I was pointing things where uh, my subject was uh, dead center uh, of my view in the camera. Um, you know, uh, I don't know if this is supposed to be one of these uh, perfectionist type um, type uh, tools or if it's just for somebody to have a bit of a play in the pool and go uh, go diving with um, snorkeling and stuff with but for me I just um, you know I, I, I try to I try to use the tools that are available to me and uh, it, this the way it was set up just wasn't working for me um, so I had a bit of a play with it and came up with something different so this is what I ended up with. Uh, starting at the bottom, uh, we got the uh, bit of power cord connected to the BCD so it doesn't float away if I lose grip of it. Uh, the Telson um, assembly came with uh, like a wrist strap. It was a bit weak and flimsy, and you know I'm a big fella. We, you know, I bounce around in the water, and I don't, you know I just had a big concern about the uh, the heavy dutiness of it. So I've added this bit of power cord connected my BCD. Uh, stuck with the Telson handle, still very floaty, but uh, after all the changes, after the changes that I made, um, it just uh, felt better in my hand and I was able to control everything a little better uh, without that trigger mechanism on there. Um, after the handle, uh, screwed into one of these 90 degree GoPro generic uh, mount uh, adapters uh, to, the, uh, to the dome itself. Now as you can see, it's very easy for me to hit the shutter button there uh, and control using the handle and putting the hand up against the back of the dome to uh, and, and, and still being able to look, see uh, through the, uh, the viewfinder and of course I don't have to pull everything apart if I need to change batteries or, or uh, memory cards take the camera out, put the camera back in and Bob's your mother's brother so what does the final product look like? I'm pretty happy with the photos uh, with the GoPro on camera set up with wide lens, auto shutter, ISO was 100 to 800 max, white balance and auto, and the color set to GoPro mode. I'm fairly happy with that. I don't see at this stage any uh, dramatic improvement or benefit on the video side of things unfortunately, but I still need to take a bit more time to adjust the settings and figure out exactly what I'm doing there. Hopefully, I'll get it down so I can create and share some awesome footage with you all as time goes by. So keep an eye on that for me. Well, that's about it, guys. Uh, anyone that's had any experience using these or knows uh, what the best settings uh, would be for video footage or can or to get better uh, photos, please, I would love to hear from you. Uh, drop me some uh, comments in the comment section. 
Uh, I got some more goodies in the mail just recently, so watch out for some full wheel drive video coming up very soon, and the Dune. Just, I think that may have extenuated, extenuated? Is that the right word? I don't know. Um, <laughs> you ever get the impression this is me just babbling? But anyway, um, I think it just uh, uh, exaggerated, that's the word I was looking for, exaggerated the uh, the wide angle. 